Treasure from 16th century England may have turned up in a New York City rug gallery. Tony DeCopel gives us the details of this potentially historic find. Was the current border added after that was done? Scholars Roger Michael and Alexei Karanovska are on the trail of English history. Kind of Is that King Henry's wine stain? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's, that's, you, you put your finger on it. That's exactly right. In this high-end but hidden away New York City rug gallery, they believe they may be looking at a treasure that once hung here, in the palace of King Henry VIII. This tapestry could have been the, the witness to extraordinary history. Henry commissioned 10 tapestries like it, each depicting the life of Julius Caesar. They cost the equivalent of tens of millions of dollars. So we could be talking about the tapestry that helped bankrupt England. <laughs> we could be, yes. But none of the ten have been seen in hundreds of years. But I think it's absolutely clear that what we have here is something really very significant. Roger and Alexi say the tapestry is the right size, the right age, and the right subject matter to match King Henry's. This outer edge is completely different. Now they plan to test the work's authenticity as part of the Institute of Digital Archaeology, a group that uses technology to drill into the past. What we hope to do is to get down into the weave and weft of this thing and essentially take its fingerprints. They joined the case after getting an email from Mary Beard, a classics professor at Cambridge University, who came across an image of the tapestry on the shop's website. In the centuries following their disappearance, the tapestries were reproduced. Beard's view is the tapestry here in New York City is one of those replicas. If this does turn out to be a Henry VIII tapestry, Roger and Alexi would like to see it returned to Henry's palace at Hampton Court. Tony DeCopel, CBS News, New York.